In this video I want to show you how to uh, make a firmware update on the MTK GPS um, or any other GPS in this particular case it's the MTK3329 um, GPS um, for this we need a FTDI adapter I think most know this one so you see the pins on it RX, TX, TX VCC with the 5 volts and the ground on the right side. So I use these pin headers here to connect to the FTDI adapter. So I have pin out and I can connect um, the pins from the GPS through here. When we have a look at the GPS, you have also. Um, hope this is getting better. So you have also the ground RXTX and VCC. So I will hook up this. Um, I have, we have to remove the pins from here by using a small screwdriver and lift up these plastic noses and remove the pins from the plug. Um, I will hook this up and come back. So I hooked this up. Um, the yellow connector is the TX signal from the GPS going to the going to the RX on the FTDI and vice versa for takes takes um, from to the green line which is RX from um, the GPS um, the red one is the 5 plus 5 volt and the black is the ground so be careful when you hook this up and flash that this two the 5 volt and the takes doesn't connect together and short so you will kill your GPS or your FTDI adapter so be careful when you hook up this up to your PC um, to not make a short connection here so I will hook this up to my PC and coming back with the software you need to flash the firmware so um, I want to show you how you do the firmware update. First, you need to download um, the firmware tools. You can do this here. Um, I will share this link in the description below. I already downloaded it, so an extract. So here is the folder. Um, I hooked up my GPS with my FTD adapter to my um, computer. So go here inside to the MTK firmware tools, go to the flash tool and start the power flash application. So first you need to sel select your GPS under option, select the series, in my case 3329, select the COM port you want to use, in my case it's COM port 4, I already selected. Um, after that you have to select your baud rate, my GPS set to 150, 200. Um, most GPS will be at around 57, 600. So select this. Um, after that, you have to select your download agent. Go to File Download Agent. Select the MTK All in One D Download Agent. Open this. Um, again, go back to ROM. Go to the firmware folder inside and select the AXN 1.51 firmware, open that. So um, after you select your COM port, your baud rate, your, um, your COM port and everything else, you have set your download agent and you have to select your ROM. Already did this, so you can hit now connect. You see this is the connection to your GPS, after that you go to download so um, you see the status bar below, this will take um, a few minutes, I will speed the video up at this point. So after uh, flashing you should see this green donut, so this means everything was okay. You see on the right side um, that it was flashed and everything is okay. So uh, when you see the green donut, you can close the application. Um, inside the firmware tools, there's an, a nice little application, MTK Mini GPS. You can start this. Select um, your COM port and your baud rate. Click open. 
and now we have connection to your GPS. You see mine is searching for satellites for its birth. Um, when it's connected on up you will see date time, the coordinates and also altitude and everything else, how much fix it has. So you can try your GPS with this tool outside without even hook it up to your flight controllers. So thank you and bye.